And there are some important preparation tips airport officials want you to know in the meantime. Alex Love is live at the airport with more on how to navigate your flight plans. Alex. You bet, Teresa. This has been the busiest week leading up to the 4th of July. Frederick Douglass has seen since before the pandemic, but they are also seeing some of the trickle down effect from delays and cancellations at other airports. So there's so it's important that travelers plan ahead. Coming in this morning, Martha Wright was anxious to take off for a birthday trip with her children. But after checking in an hour before takeoff, they learned their flight was held up in Jacksonville for a while. We headed to uh, Florida, Orlando. Um, our flight is being delayed an hour and 45 minutes. Um, we had a little few problems, complications, but we got it together. In six of the last seven days, Rochester has seen more than 4,000 people depart from its terminals. Mackenzie Watts figured lots of people would be traveling for this 4th of July, so she came in extra early, even though her flight to Baltimore isn't delayed. They told me I was here too early and they wouldn't let me check my luggage. so. I always try to come now, maybe at least two hours early, just in case, because you never know, maybe your friend gets a flat tire and they can't take you. Um, it's much better to be way early. In Rochester, the TSA checkpoints are fully staffed and plan to be throughout the weekend, as almost all 50 of today's departing flights are full. We have had some uh, cancellations here, ones, onesie twosies type thing, um, but the impact, is, is, I would say, has been um, significantly less than what we have seen throughout the country. As backups continue in airports in major cities throughout the country, those at Frederick Douglass urge passengers to stay up to date with flight statuses before leaving home. So you can check that easily on rockairport.com. Um, we have all, all of our flight schedule there. Um, additionally, you know, all of the airlines have different mobile apps, email notifications, that sort of thing, where they'll keep you up to date of your flight status too. According to research from FlightAware, as of this afternoon, eight flights coming into Rochester to pick up new passengers were delayed, while two were canceled. Live at the Frederick Douglass Greater Rochester International Airport, Alex Love, News 8. Bad. Thank you, Alex. If you plan to travel this weekend, airports still recommend you wear a mask when in crowded terminals or inside a plane to keep new COVID cases trending downward.